In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this fade to black and white effect in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So once you have your footage imported into Premiere Pro, you're just gonna take your clip, drag it onto the timeline, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this, one faster than the other. You gotta stick around to the end, and I'll show you the fastest one. But the first thing I'm gonna do is right click over here and go to new item adjustment layer and then make sure that my adjustment layer settings match my video settings and they do so i'm gonna press ok and if you're confused on what an adjustment layer is i made a full in-depth tutorial on that i'll link that in youtube cards now you can check that out as well i'll drop this adjustment layer onto my timeline and i'm going to stretch it to the length of my footage then i'm just going to select the adjustment layer from there i'm going to click on the color tab go over to basic correction and the first thing that i'm going to do is drop my saturation down to zero and then what I like to do is play around the contrast a little bit just to make sure that the black and white footage still looks really good. And then that's all you're going to do for that. You'll go over to the editing tab. And the way that we're going to make this effect fade in and fade out is by using keyframes and keyframing the opacity. So I'm going to first go to the beginning of the clip, basically wherever I want the color to be in and not black and white. And just I'm going to bring that opacity down to zero. So I'll go forward just a little bit, find the spot to where I want the effect to start fading in. Right about there is fine. I'm gonna create a keyframe. And then from there, I'm just gonna go forward just a little bit more. And I'm gonna change the opacity to 100%. Basically, I created that portion where I want it to actually fade in. And then I'm gonna create another keyframe. And then I'm gonna go down just a little bit further and change the opacity all the way back down to zero. And this is what it's gonna actually look like. The second way that this can be done, and I've completely reset everything, is by simply going up to the color tab after you've selected your adjustment layer. And instead of clicking basic correction, click on the creative tab and go down to look. And there is a list of noir LUTs inside of Premiere Pro that comes custom in the program. I like noir 1965, which you can also use noir HDR, so on and so forth. Find one that is black and white that you like and just simply click on that and it does everything for you. As long as it looks good, you can also adjust the intensity and stuff like that if you like. But I think that it looks good just like that. And that's simply, I don't have to play around with any basic cor correction settings. I can just simply click on that LUT that I like and then go over back to the editing tab. And it's the exact same process of keyframing the opacity when you want like to, for the effect to come in. So I start here, create a keyframe, change it, bring that up to 100 and then play it back and it's just like that continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything i'll see you in the next video